Hey there guys, this is NDM here bringing you another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode we got ourselves our first starter Pokemon, or our first Pokemon, not our first starter Pokemon, uh, Charmander, and this is his status. You can, um, you can observe their attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. And you can also, uh, observe how much EXP he requires until he next levels up, so we need 31 EXP until he gains to level 7. And this is atta his attacks, yeah, you know, we only have Scratch and Growl at the moment. And the ability also matters as well, so ups fire moves in a pinch, which means that we can... Which means that Charmander basically has very strong fire attacks, so if you use something like Flamethrower, which is a move you learn later on in the game, uh, yeah, just say that, for instance, he uses Flamethrower, uh, the attack with Flamethrower would be a lot stronger than what it would usually be on a different fire-type Pokémon that doesn't have that ability that can up fire attack moves. Anyway, we'll get more into the battle system now. And we have what a ratata, a ratata, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, give it a scratch in the face. How do you like that, huh? Uh, I didn't think so. Oh, you use tail whip, <laughs> dude. That's hard. That's that's so hardcore, man. You're still hardcore. Well, yeah, you're dead anyway. Got to sell 16 exp. Um, I will also be. Catching every single Pokemon that you can get in the game, or as far as I know that you can get in the game, I'll be trying to get every single legendary, including Mewtwo. Hi, I work at Pokemon. It's part of a conv convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know I'll give you a sample. Here, here you go. Oh, we got still some of the potion. So that's two potions we have now. I don't want to speak to you again. <laughs> But yeah, I will be um, training or catching every single Pokemon that I can on screen as much as possible, or as many Pokemon as I possibly can catch. And I won't stick with the same Pokemon throughout the whole game. The only Pokemon that I will stick with is Charmander, because he will be the one that gains the most levels, and he will be the most powerful as Pokemon. And normally you do stick with your starter Pokemon, because it's the one that you have a special bond over, and he was the one that you had from the very beginning. So I will be keeping Charmander with me throughout the whole entire game. Like I say, I'll probably variate and change throughout the game to different types of Pokemon. Some may depend on what gym I'm coming up to next. Like, say, if I really needed a strong grass type to fight the water gym, then I would raise that grass type. But if I wanted to do some leveling up, I'll do that off screen, so I'll grind off screen. I won't show me grinding all the time. Only if there's like necessary battles, like trainer battles, I won't skip those. I won't skip trainer battles. Right, I'm going to Ember you, because Ember is like my most powerful move right now. Because we need to get to the next town to do something. There. there is something we need to do there. Oh, what the hell, man? That was just like one space and then I suddenly get another battle. Oh, well, at least we're gaining EXP from it, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain, as long as I get loads of EXP. He is a level 3, so it should give me a re relatively good amount. I'm guessing something like 24. Man, if I get that right, I'm gonna be so happy. So insanely crazy. What the frick frat in hell? I got 20, <laughs> I got 24 EXP. Wow. Okay, that was just... I don't know, I don't know, that was crazy. This is if I was psychic or something. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. Well, thanks for the shortcuts. Or giving us a little hint on how to use the shortcuts. Basically, how you use the shortcuts and a link to the past, you can jump off the ledges in that game too. And I think Minish Cap you can as well, jump off ledges. But I'm not sure, I haven't played Minish Cap in a long time actually. 
Ember should be super effective on that rat attacker. It's made of fur, and fur is normally uh, vulnerable or very um, flammable, should I say, to fire, so it would burn. I'm surprised you didn't. What does this signpost say? Limited power points PP. Yeah, PP is basically your power points. And, uh, ah, I haven't even mentioned that. That's all about the battle system. Um, you know your moves, like Growl and Scratch. If I use Scratch so many times, and Scratch... Well, I can show you right now, actually, how much PP Scratch has. What the hell? I just went back to the... Back to the back off the main menu or the menu screen. Anyway, uh, Scratch has 27, no, 27 currently out of 35 PP. Now, when you run out of PP, you cannot use that move anymore. And Growl has the most PP, which I'm not so happy about because we'll never be using Growl. I can guarantee you that right now. It's like a bad smell. <laughs> it's like a bad smell, and I don't want to go near it. Uh, this is the Pokemon Center. Each You'll find Pokemon Centers throughout the towns, and they're the ones with the red roofs, and the uh, Pokemon is the one with the blue roofs. This is basically your shopping center, so if you want to buy any equipment, you can, but we have to come here for the main quest, or a part of the main quest. You know Profoke, right? Yeah, he's that tree who's sitting in my garden. His order came in. Can I get, can I get you to take it to him? Sure enough, can, mister. Right, is there anything... Actually, is there anything here I can buy? I don't think I have any money, though. Oh, I can't buy anything anyway. Doesn't matter. This shop go this shop does good business in antidotes, I've heard. Well, that's insane! I've got to buy some potions. You never know when your Pokemon will need quick healing. Yeah, tell me about it. You will be needing a lot of potions throughout this game, because I guarantee you, you're going to come across a Pokemon trainer or a Pokemon in the wild that is going to be ridiculously strong and wipe out your whole team. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It has happened to me plenty of times. Now, I don't really think I need to use the Pokemon Center at the moment. No, I don't. My Pokemon is actually relatively healthy. Uh, is there anything anyone, anything anyone can say that's interesting? Please feel free to use that PC in the corner. The reception, the the receptionist told me so. It's so kind of her. Pokemon centers heal your tired, heart, hurt, or fainted Pokemon. They make all Pokemon completely healthy. There's a Pokemon center in every town ahead, like I mentioned. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing Pokemon. Yeah, they don't charge you any money either. The only place that charges you money is the Pokemon. And in some towns, the Pokemon goes really up market, so you will be going into like department stores and things like that. Really big super stores. Which will be basically your Pokemon, because if, you, if you're in a town with a massive super store, there, I guarantee you there will not be a Pokemon in there. <laughs> or an actual, you know, proper Pokemon with a blue roof or anything. Anyway, <clears throat> we need to go back to Profoke and deliver his drugs. His cocaine in his parcel. <laughs> or maybe his porn magazines. Oh, you creep me out, dude. You Oh, Angela, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Well, it would make sense if you wanted a porn... If you, if you wanted porn magazines and he, f and he handles pokey balls. You know, he handles balls. And he handles porn magazines. It makes sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? All oh, right. I have a request for you two. Go ahead. Tell us. On the desk, there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Angela and Gaius, take these with you. With pleasure, my dear sir. We Angela received the Pokedex. Now this is your basically your encyclopedia. It gives you information on different Pokemon throughout the Kanto region. You can also get an additional national index, but that's at the end of the game, so we're not going to get into that just yet. 
you can't get you can't get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So that so here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. And we have ourselves five Pokeballs. Helios, I'm going to squeeze them and play with them in my bed while having sexual thoughts. <laughs> when a wild Pokemon appears, it's a fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This w won't always work, however, a healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all of the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. Dream on, mister! We're never going to catch your Pokemon. We're never going to fill up... Yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Angela, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Angela. Haha. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Wow, what a jerk. <laughs> he doesn't want us to have one of his sister's maps. But that's going to be like a... Ah, well, we can. Hopefully her sister's nice enough to lend us a map. Unlike her ignorant brother. Right. Grandpa asked you to... Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. Why, thank you, Daisy. I might as well show the town map right now. This It's not really a town map. <laughs> uh, that's kind of um, an understatement. The town map is basically essentially the world map. It shows you the whole entire region of Kanto. And you will go to other regions as well by boat. But there is a town further around here somewhere. I think it's Vermilion City. And it has a dock there and it can take you to different parts of... Or different regions in the world. And that's where the National Dex comes in. And that's where you can re... Um, record data on the national Pokemon but we have the Kanto, the Kanto region Pokedex and we've seen three Pokemon and owned one which is Charmander but like I say I'll try and get as many Pokemon as I can like catch as many Pokemon as I can and try and fill that bugger up but I don't think I'll be able to fill the whole thing up Undoubtedly, no. Anyway, we have us another rat hat. I'm actually going to try and catch this, so I'm not going to kill it. Make sure you weaken your Pokemon before you catch it, because you have a higher risk of not being able to catch it if its HP is all the way up. So just reduce its HP to red or yellow and try and catch him. Also making status ailments help as well but we don't have any moves that can cause status ailments such as putting them to sleep or paralyzing them. I think there's another status ailment. Poison? Yeah that's another one. Uh, I can't remember. I think there's others as well. Like you can reduce their defense that also helps too. Gotcha, Ratatata was caught. Ratatata <laughs> was caught. Uh, yes. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so it grows on hard things to whittle di to whittle them down. That sounds uh, kind of... I don't know, I don't even want to go into any detail on that. <laughs> so let's call you... Uh, crap. I'm not going to spend too long on these names, <laughs> not like I did with uh, Charmander. Well, no, I actually was re relatively quick on naming Charmander. I'm going to call him one of my friend's channel's name. So, Zach, and his name is in caps, so I'm going to put it in caps. Where's C? Zab. No. I think this is how you spell it. M M D. There we go. <coughs> and that's that done. Right. <coughs> now we have ourselves a Ratata. 
which is weak. It is a weak Pokemon, but when you evolve it, it's kind of powerful. And that's the same with any other Pokemon. When they evolve, they become more stronger, and they learn different types. They they also learn different moves, but you can stop evolution or evolution by um by holding B button. I think it is, or it's either by repeatedly tapping the B button. And what do we have? Uh, have we seen a Pidgey yet? I'm not sure if we have. <clears throat> Well, I can't remember. Yeah, we did. We, we did see a Pidgey. Uh, right, so let's burn it. <clears throat> and try and catch it. The Pidgey is a lot stronger than the Rattata, so... This is an also, also another good Pokemon to pick up as well. If I can catch it, that is. Ha, you're mine! My balls were no match for you. My d my ball my pokeball had a seductive power that f made you want to do something with it that I don't want to know about because I know that you know and it's disgusting and it's not something that I want to know and it's blah 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 shut up <laughs> shut up Lewis all right uh I'm gonna call you I forgot oh uh, no I'm not gonna call you on that uh. Should I just call it Pidge? Or something? No, I'm gonna call it something from a game. Uh, I'm gonna call you... No, I know what I'm gonna call you, actually. Yeah, I've got the perfect name for you. I've g it just clicked in my mind just now. Yeah, you know Falco. Hell yeah. Well, I'm going to end off the video here and continue on in the next episode. So, guys, in the next video, we will be progressing back to uh, Viridian City to do some more stuff there. So, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for... Actually, you know what? I'm going to heal my Pokemon before I end off the video. Uh, I might as well. Just give him a bit of potion. Yeah, you must take good care of your Pokemon. And uh, so I shall by using up my last two remaining potions. Anyway, right, so, uh, see you all in my next video, take care everybody, and this is NDM saying thanks for watching, and goodbye.